Hello friends, welcome to this channel. So in previous session, we saw what is tags, how to create and delete and all these things, right? Now in this session, we will see the difference between fetch and pull. So first of all, we will try to understand the concept related to these two commands. And then we will try to understand difference using an example as well. So first let's talk about git fetch so git fetch only downloads the latest changes into the local repository it downloads fresh changes that other developers have pushed to the remote repository since the last fetch and allows you to review and merge manually at later time using git merge right because it does not change your working directory or the staging area it is entirely safe and you can run it as often as you want so here what point i am trying to tell you when you use git fetch then it will bring all the changes from the remote repository to your local repository and this will not affect your working directory if you want to further bring your basically changes from local repository to your working directory then further you need to use a command is called git merge and afterward you can merge all those changes into your local repository all right so as you know that now git fetch basically just bring the changes from the remote repository to local repository so there is no chance for any kind of conflict right now let's try to understand git pull git pull basically downloads latest changes into the local repository and it also automatically merge changes in your working directory it does not give you a chance to review the changes before and as a consequence merge conflict can and do occurs one important thing to keep in mind is that it will merge only into the current working branch other working branch will stay unaffected so here our point or what point i am trying to say is when you use git pull then it will bring all the changes from your basic remote branch to your working directory so basically that will bring all the changes from the remote directory to your working directory basically this will basically do internally two things git fetch and plus git merged and that will merge all those changes into your working directory and because of that if your working directory has some changes and remote branch has some changes in the same file and the same line then you may get some conflict all right so i hope you understood different between these two now let us try to understand this practically so here this is my gitlab account and here here is our project now let's do some changes here so in my test2.txt file here i will say edit and as you can see this is an empty file so now i will say this is a random text file and here you can see by default commit message is update test2.txt so i think this is okay and i will click on commit change now our test2.txt file is updated now let's go to our terminal or git base so here for fetch i will say git and then fetch so here you can see git fetch says there is some commit happens over here in master branch so this is telling us there is some changes happened in master branch now if i go to my local folder here you can see there is no changes here because we have not merged the merged the changes or we have not pulled 
our changes to our local repository or working directory. So now let's see the pull command. So here now I will say git and then simply pull. So this will internally do two commands like first it will face the changes that happen in our remote repository then it will automatically merge the changes to our local repository so now let's see yes here you can see the changes that we did so again if you use pull command you will not review the changes before merging but if you use git fetch then you will able to review the changes and then if you want to merge that changes with your local directory or working directory you can merge those changes using git merge command so i hope you guys are clear with the difference between this git pull and git fetch if you have any doubt or any question feel free to ask in the comment section below i will answer you as soon as i can so thank you for watching bye and have a nice day